Hello and welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to work out the perimeter of squares, rectangles, triangles, and circles. And hopefully you'll find that it's not quite as hard as you may think. Okay, so to start us off, what is perimeter? So quite often people get confused between perimeter and area. So essentially perimeter is the distance around the edge of a shape. So uh, all the way around the edges of the shape. So whether that's a circle, triangle, square, it's the perimeter. So if you're walking around this football pitch, you'd be walking the perimeter of the football pitch. And one easy way of remembering that um, perimeter is the outside edges, if, if you think of like movies or TV series like The Walking Dead or something, I don't know, Rick will say to Daryl, walk the perimeter of the base. So that basically just means walk around the edge of the base looking out for zombies. Area is the space in the middle. So if you put a rug on the floor, how much space is it taking up on the floor? So with squares and rectangles, essentially there is a formula for squares and rectangles which to be honest, you don't need to remember. For squares, it's simply, you just have one of your sides labeled as side A. All of your sides are gonna be the same because it's a square and it's just four A, so four times A. For rectangles, you'll see side A and you'll see side B. And essentially what these are, you may see it as two uh, A plus two B. And that's sort of like the formula for it. Basically saying two lots of A plus two lots of B. Now you don't even need to remember that. All you need to know is that you've just got to add all your sides together. And that's essentially it. That's the easy way of remembering it. If it's a square or a rectangle, just add all your sides together. So here we've got 90 plus 45. So if you just work your way around, plus another 90 plus another 45, the perimeter of this football pitch is 270 meters. And that's it. So it is in meters because it's just distance, not like area where it's meters squared or volume where it's meters cubed. This is just a distance. Uh, so it is just left in meters. So with regards to triangles, you need to have an understanding of triangles, I suppose, and how you'd be able to work it out. But um, here, this particular exam question is from City and Guilds. So this is giving you a 24 centimeter long base. And then one of the edges here is uh, 13 centimeters. And it's given us these two angles. Now, what this is telling us is essentially because these two angles match, these two lengths will be the same as well. Uh, so this other one is also going to be 13. So with this one, again, we can just add 13 plus 13 plus the 24. And we've got our perimeter of 50 centimeters around this triangle. And it's as easy as that. Now, we do have another triangle on the next slide. So here we go, what's the perimeter of this one? Now, it only gives us one measurement. And again, having a knowledge of triangles and the different types of triangle, we should be able to see that this is an equilateral triangle. How do we know this is an equilateral? Uh, because we've got two of our angles are 60. So the number of degrees within a triangle is 180. So 60 plus 60 plus 60, is our 180 degrees so they're all equal so equilateral it's an equilateral triangle because everything is equal so if all of our angles are equal because it's an equilateral triangle all of our lengths are going to be equal as well so we have 24 and 24 so again you can just add those together three times or just times 24 by 3 it doesn't really matter but we'll just add them together to give you 72 millimeters. So again, it's in millimeters as per the uh, base measurement there. So 24 millimeters is the perimeter of that triangle. Easy as that. Now where it perhaps gets a little bit more difficult is with circumference. So uh, circumference is essentially the perimeter around a circle. Uh, so we do have a formula for circumference, which is pi, D. That basically just means pi times the diameter of a circle. So pi is normally 3.14 or 3.142. Your exam paper will tell you uh, what to use for that. We'll leave it as 3.142 here. Diameter. So with circles, you have radius and you have diameter. Radius is from the central point to the edge. 
but here we can see this circle has a radius of four centimeters. The diameter is the full width of the circle. So if half of the width of the circle is the radius, which is four, the full diameter will be eight. So to answer this question for the circumference, it's just 3.142 for pi multiplied by eight. And that gives you a circumference of 25.136 centimeters. So important with this one, you do need to know the formula because uh, it's not just a simple case of adding sides together because there are no sides or there's one side depending on how you look at it. So we need to know what the formula is. So pi d, uh, times diameter, pi d. You may see circumference written as 2 pi r, which is 2 times pi times r. I like to put it as pi times diameter because essentially 2 times r is your diameter. So that would be pi times the diameter. It's just easier to remember as pi times diameter uh, because uh, area of a circle is pi r squared. And it, so it can be a little bit confusing. So at least you can kind of tell the difference between the two if you use the diameter for circumference, radius for your area of circles. Hopefully that makes sense. If you've got any comments uh, or questions, do let me know in the uh, comments section and I'll do my best to answer them. So hopefully that made sense. Now you've got this uh, practice question here. This has come from, um, I think it's from an NCFE exam, so a different awarding organization. Um, but it says Anish and Becky have a circular pond in the garden. Anish's pond has a diameter of six meters. Becky's pond has a diameter of three meters. Anish says that the circumference of the pond is twice the circumference of Becky's pond. Find the circumference of each pond using pi as 3.14. Is Anisha's statement correct? Pause the video, have a little go at this question, and then I'll go through it. Okay, so we can see in terms of pi times diameter, the circumference, we can see we've got 3.14, and we're going to times that by 6 for Anisha's pond, and 3.14, and we're going to times that by 3 for Becky's pond. And that will give us the circumference for each pond. So 3.14 times 6 equals 18.84. And then we could do the same for Becky's pond there. 3.14 times 3 gives us 9.42. Now we need to see if his is twice that of Becky's you should be able to tell just by looking at that hopefully but what you can do is do um, 18.84 and just divide it by 2 to see what half of that is and you'll see it's 9.42 and that's it so hopefully you found that useful hopefully it's uh, quite understandable let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you on the next one